Tawny Seidel of Notre Dame has caught up with her because she really slowed it down. She may really be paying for the move she just made, and she may regret what she did as Seidel now goes into the lead with just a half mile remaining. Dominic Scott probably another 30 meters back trying to deliberately get back into a position to try and win this race. Seidel looks terrific. You've gone to her arms. She's up in the balls of her feet. She's driving away. The others are not gaining on here. And we have one lap to go, and Scott is in fifth place and looks in trouble, just watching her form. Seidel full of run at this point. Two Oregon runners up amongst the top five, so they are going to score some points. And she is in a full sprint and gone. No chance that she is going to tie up and have anybody catch her. So Molly Seidel was up amongst the leaders the entire time, didn't exactly cover the move, but was able to take advantage of a very poorly executed move by the defending champion Emma Bates and Molly Seidel now in the finishing straight, still looking good, still looking fresh almost. And this is a first time 10K championship run for a Notre Dame athlete. Molly Seidel from Notre Dame, congratulations.